Alright, so pretty much all I did was just blow dry my client's um, hair, you know, into not so much of a smoothness because I'm gonna add product and all that stuff but just to get it nice and dry. And once again, you can add just one half pump to the crown. I like to just do it to the crown area because that's what's gonna show more and that's what you want to shine. So I'm gonna do that. Take my brush and brush the hair back. And also when I blow dry for something like this, I like to move the hair around. I throw it forwards like this with the blow dryer. So that way the hair has mobility and it can move around and it's not just stuck in one way. So now I'm going to take a Super Scope by Paul Mitchell. This is in an old container. I know they still have it though. I've seen it there at the store. I'm going to take just a tad bit, run it through my hands, warm it up, run it all over the hair. And this is also going to give it shine. The other one was more of a heat protectant. This is a bit of a shine with kind of like a hairspray. Now I've done that, I'm going to brush it through. Make sure that the hair is nice and brushed. So now that the hair is still hot or warm, whatever it is, I'm going to let this set for about five to seven minutes just so the hair will cool down and the hair will curl better so make sure you wait for the hair to cool down and then we'll get started with the curl all right so one of my quick tricks that i also like to do and i forgot to mention with you guys is i actually going to show you this a couple more tricks before i mention that i like to spray the hair with a hair with a light spray before and now you're going to take a bristled brush which i can't even find mine now that i'm mentioning it um, give me one second. Oh, God, it's all covered in extension. Any bristled brush, because this will give the hair a bit of shine, and just kind of brush that hairspray through. Not in a specific way. Just brush it through, it'll give it just a little bit of shine. Then, you're going to section the hair off as well. Now, in the movie, Kristen Stewart had a part line in the middle. So, we're going to part that now. Now, you actually should have done that when you were blow drying the hair, so it would have been kind of even. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start curling from the bottom up. And you guys are going to say, wow, how many different ways is there to curl? There's a lot of different things you can do with your curling. So I'm going to take a light um, dry hairspray and just spray it from far away. And I like to switch up the curling lines that I use because it will give a different dimension to the hair. So you're going to take your section. Is this on? Yeah, it's on already. I'm going to take a white section. Make sure it's nice and brushed. And I'm going to start at the root, like I've told you guys several times. Always start at the root. Never start at the end. Because that's going to burn the ends. Just like this. And I'm going to take it slightly to the root. Let that set for a couple seconds. And just let it fall. And it's going to give you a very nice, easy curl. Yes, it's very, very simple. But like I said, I like to alternate my curling irons because it's going to give you a bit of dimension within the hair. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing up to about here, just above the ears. And then I will come back and show you guys what to do from there. Because I don't want to waste any time on the video when I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. It's just going to make the hair look um, a little more bouncier than just plain. And I'm tending to leave the front area right here by the ear out before I even think of curling it because she has curls pulled to the side. So right now I'm going to try and focus on getting this hair nice and smooth. So one thing I do to get it smooth, I pass the curtain iron once just to heat it up because the plates between do kind of tend to keep the hair nice and cute and clean together. And you don't want this hair to, to look all mashed up. So, so. Okay, so now I'm just smoothing this out. And I'm going to comb, I mean I'm going to comb, I'm going to curl that through my iron. It's really simple you guys, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a bit of tips on getting these curls to look very nice and um, free flowing because her hair looked super gorgeous in the movie. And I'm not a big Kristen Stewart fan, but she did, she's kind of awkwardy, but I kind of like that about her. It's a good thing. Oh, and by the way, the curling irons that I'm using are... A one and one fourth, and I think this is a one and a half inch curling or a no, one inch. I would have to go back and check. 
and I'll let you guys know as soon as I find it. I'm not sure because I borrowed that curling. I borrowed the tiny this curling that I'm using right here, and I think it's a Conair. No, it's a Jivery. But also, um, what's it called? Conair curling irons work pretty good, and they're very inexpensive. Also, Baby Bliss Pro curling irons are really, really good. I do recommend them as well. And Helen of Troy is what I'm using. So, like I said, I'm leaving all that out and I'm taking these sections right here. Leaving them in just to keep these curls nice. You guys are going to love this. And it's a very nice, simple, probably not everyday look, but it's a very, like, I'm going out -y look to like a dinner but I don't want to go to a fancy type of thing and she looked gorgeous in it I didn't like the dress she wore to the prom but she looked really cute in this hairstyle now I'm creating definition I'm going to keep curling, and once I get to the top again, I will come back and show you guys. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take <clears throat> our section, and like I said, I left this section out at the top front, out, and how we're going to curl it is we're going to take diagonal sections. This is diagonal? Is that my right? I don't even know if I'm right or not. Hopefully. Just side sections like this to an angle. Like if you're placing foils because you're going to pull these back. So I'm going to get those nice and smooth. And remember that you're facing away from the face as if you're walking in the wind. And I'm using my smaller curling iron with this because I want these to be really defined. Make sure those are nice and hot. I'm going to spray them one more time. You want our curls to stay underneath there. Our section of hair. Just like this. So just curl them. It's super simple, but it's all about placing the curls and making them stand out. So I'm taking these sections out. So I'm just going to let that curl nice and drop. And try to keep the curls even on this side towards the other side and not too close to the root because you want to pull them back. Ah! I burned myself. Once again. Just like that. Alright. So now that those curls are done, you're going to spray them one more time so they'll stay together. Okay, I'm going to recall this one. Just so it'll be a little more noticeable. There you go. Now get your hair pins and body pins, whatever you're using, ready. And I'm going to use hair pins, I guess. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just leave a few of the curls out and take the rest and kind of bring them up in a side step kind of motion like this and pin that. Make sure it's pinned nicely, you guys. And that's almost the complete style. But what she had is she had a couple individual curls brought up. So now I'm just taking these, try to keep them defined as, as uh, much defined as possible. Just like that, and take your hair pin and pin those down. You take the exact same one as well. Pin the one next to it and just bring it to the side of it just pin it. It's such a simple look that she wore 